Hi. Hi. So there are so many horror films that revolve around dolls and, and toys and children's things. What do you think it is about dolls that are so scary? Why is it so terrifying? I think it's because, honestly, it's the innocence to dolls. It looks like they seem so like innocent and angelic that you wouldn't expect this small thing to really be this evil, demonic thing that's actually going to go after your family and try and kill you. <laughs> I think it's just uh, unexpected, really. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect a little girl to have the powers of a demon. <laughs> you, you would expect her to just sit in her room and play with her dolls all day long, but really, they don't know what's coming. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. What is it about Annabelle? How was it working? It definitely feels yeah, like they, that. Yeah, they don't, they don't actually move, but it definitely feels like they are. When like you the move Mona over Lisa there, it just yeah. still looks like she's staring at you. <laughs> really creepy. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of a veteran of this whole Thank you. Thing. Uh, what, was, what was different about this film rather than the other films? Well, this time I was playing the good guy, which, <laughs> which um, I loved, actually, because it gave me a chance to be the hero and kind of save the day which I thought was just a great experience. It was new, it was refreshing, and especially working with um, this huge group of female characters because they were all very strong and not just one or two of them were fighting for their lives, but all of them were. That's amazing, and tell us that your motorized chair thing yes. was awesome. Did you do all, because you kind of had some stunts on that. Yeah, I love stunts on that. I did actually. They did have a stunt woman on set. She's like almost my exact same height, and she did a few of them. But they actually ended up using all my stunts because I fought for it. <laughs> I love doing stunts. It's like one of my favorite things. I actually trained, I think, like two months before the fifth wave stunt training. So I, I've been prepared for stunts. <laughs> um, you guys are best friends in the movie. Yeah. Yes. What, what are some of the things that you guys did to kind of bond before you started shooting Honestly, I think we kind of bonded immediately. We just yeah. clicked. Like, it wasn't even like we had to really work hard to, like, to get to know each other or anything. Just immediately we could tell we were going to be friends. And also on set we played these really intense, like, grueling games of <laughs> Uno. Um, like, basically every day. And I, feel, I, ta I taught her how to play, and I feel like that kind of solidified the whole relationship. Yeah. Well, you can tell it's great. <laughs> um, this film so far is getting really great reviews, which is amazing. Um, tell us that some people are saying Boys in Sixth Sense and you have are getting have kind of similar qualities and that you are going to be kind of this megastar that you are. So um, I, I just read that this morning. How do you feel? Wow, I've I haven't read anything like that yet. That's crazy. I mean, I don't like. I don't really know like, how to feel about it because it feels so unreal right now. It just feels like a shock. Even just doing the film felt like that. And Lulu already has done like so much in her career. I think we're both just blessed to be in this horror movie together and worked with David Sandberg. It's incredible. So if nothing comes out of this, I'll have a great experience to move on to the next one. Honestly, I'm good with whatever. Well, great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nice to meet you.